So here we have Andy from Austria. He's a professional pilot. He does a lot of paragliding. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a, a casual video to show you uh, people at home how to safely fold your glider for maximum longevity and uh, proper storage. So Andy, we've got uh, a Yukon uh, glider here. And so why don't we just open it up and, and yes. show we do them it. what to do. So most gliders come with uh, an outer bag and and a compression strap. Right. You, you might be wondering how to get the glider in such a, a small, compact uh, uh, way. Okay, so first, yeah. first I get in with the lines in the middle, everyone knows this, after. Yeah. So right after, you, right after you land, you take the lines, bring them to the glider. Is there any particular way to do that? You just... You have to, to throw it in, in the glider, so it's nothing lay around the glider, all is in, and uh, after you can start. So you want to check to make sure that there's no lines on the trailing edge. Yes. There. Yes. Okay. So we've done that. And uh, after this, I, I I start to take every cell mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. So one whole hand is holding the the bunches of cells, and the other hand is gathering yes. the cells to to meet the other hand. Yes. Okay. On in on the end. Yeah. It takes uh, the whole package. Yeah. Throw it away. Turn it around. Okay. And then do you have to place uh, something heavy here? Is it okay if it, you know, I just noticed that it, it expanded here. Yes, you can do this, but uh, the air comes easier out when it's open. Okay. Oh. And so at this end, you've, you've gathered up the fabric to make it smaller, right? Yes. Okay. Is it easier to do to use two people when you? For me, it's no problem. In the beginning, it's easier to to start with two people, and after then, it's no problem to do okay. it alone. Okay. And uh, the important thing is only this area. The rest is not really important. You can okay. Cram, okay. cram it. It's no problem. And why is this area the most important? You have to. You see, in the moment, the most of the gliders have, yeah, they called rigid foil and uh, Mac Perry, we're calling them uh, C rod technology, so it's yes. the nylon rods that are inserted in the uh, into the seam here. Yes, and it's it's really important. There's no what's in English bend. You don't yes. bend the rod. Yeah, it's 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 uh, really important. So um, for starting, and uh, for me is uh, this. It's the important area and the rest is for me is no problem. Okay. So I start this cell, I let him go and I begin with the next one. Okay. And now I bring yeah. it here. You fold, is you this fold the center one down is folded down, yeah? You, you fold it down and bring it. Like on top, yeah, on top. So the center, lay down. Okay. Bring the other side over top, yeah, on the top. And I bring always with the hand makes a package from here. Okay. Inside. Takes the rises. Okay. Right there. Now, it takes the front, the leading edge. Mm -hmm. And this should all be, this is all just lies flat. Yes, it's all, it's all is flat mm -hmm. and it's important that the rigid foil is here. 
and not here. Okay, so you don't want to bend the uh, C, nylon C rods over this area here. Make sure the, the rods are lying flat so that they're protected from the, the other half that folds over. Enough of these? Okay. So, perfect. Okay. And then we grab the uh, compression strap. Next thing is, when I make it, when I make a small package and I make it longer, yeah. the most reversible harness are constructed to make the glider longer. Okay. So it's easier to bring it in the, in the harness, okay. to put it in the harness, so like Leviti also. Okay. And to, to, to do that, you just expand this uh, to make it longer. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's how you fold a Mac Para Paraglider. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, too. Yeah.